Hello my friends, welcome to the Infologs YouTube channel. Uh, this is powered by Infologs website. So uh, in today's video we will see how we can show the loader uh, inside the uh, Blazor framework. Right, that is the very basic thing. So nowadays uh, the Blazor framework is running very well. So we have a, a dedicated video series on Infologs channel as well as on Infologs website you will see the different articles on Blazor as well as the ASP.NET Core and C Sharp. So if you are the new uh, viewers for this channel, well, let me uh, give you an overview. So every week we are publishing three new videos and uh, the articles, you'll see a lot of articles on infologs.in website. So on uh, specifically we talk about YouTube, then uh, uh, there you'll see uh, three videos in a week. Uh, on a Monday you'll see a dedicated video on ASP.NET Core. And then on Wednesday, uh, you'll see a Blazor a dedicated video and continuation of our video series for the Blazor. And uh, on the Friday, you'll see the basic uh, for basic C Sharp learning for the beginners. Uh, and uh, in C Sharp, we are also targeting the intermediate as well as advanced level of uh, C Sharp uh, codings. So as uh, we uh, go through the uh, different topics uh, you'll see the specific uh, contextual learnings as well on this video series so if you talk, go to the youtube.com slash web boostings or you just go ahead and search for the info logs on uh, youtube homepage you'll see this uh, channel and here you'll see a playlist uh, where you'll see the different kind of playlist so keep learning with and for log starting now back to the point uh, that is showing loader in uh, blazor uh, web application so i'll create a new project for that okay so let me give you a show loader i'll select a blazor okay this is all about this uh, blazor server web application so uh, in a uh, near in near futures or in a upcoming video uh, tutorials will also talk about the web web assembly of uh, blazor applications currently that is in preview version so i'll just um, working around of what are the uh, benefits of uh, uh, blazor web assembly applications and that, all that as soon as i completed all these things uh, definitely i'll start to create a video on web assembly as well so uh, currently we'll talk about the blazor server applications and uh, in today's topic that is uh, show loader uh yeah that is simple hit the create button and then create till it gets create uh let's go to the infologs.in website and that is in article number six here you'll see uh that uh how we can display the uh loader in uh, blazor application okay the handling and incomplete async actions at a render is much more easier in the blazor uh, component lifecycle so if you have a don't idea about the what are the life cycle of a blazor component i recommend you to watch our earlier videos and then watch this asynchronous actions performed in life cycle events might not have a completed before the component is rendered okay that is very basic thing so objects might be null okay let's assume that uh, i want to get a uh, employee's detail from the server and server will go to the uh, database server then uh, it will fetch all the employee details and then uh, provide the requester right this is the all life cycle of a request right but uh, let uh, assume that uh, the server which is accessing the employee details from the database server it takes time okay till then uh, what the uh, initiator should be look like so in that case we should uh, say hey uh, the employee detail object is null so till i wanted to show the loader or some kind of uh, uh, image uh, which is uh, 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 visually saying uh, to the uh, user that uh, we are uh, getting data from the server so you need to wait for a while right so that in that case our object that is employee detail will be null or incomplete populated with the data while the lifecycle method is executing providing sorry provide rendering logic to confirm that objects are initialized render placeholder ui elements for example a loading message or some kind of uh, image right uh, so if you talk about the default project uh, in our project so we are collecting the uh, weather information from the server right 
so in that case our weather yeah this one weather forecast okay uh, this object is by default gets null uh, so we are understanding that uh, we are getting data from the server till it gets load we are showing this message so let me go back to the visual studio and i'll set this show loader project as default okay by the way all these projects will available on github.com slash info logs sorry github.com slash info logs so there you'll see a three different kind of uh, repositories uh, one for blazor then spinet core Oops, I think the C sharp that needs to upload that is pending. So no mind, I'll upload it today, or maybe uh, you'll see uh, before uh, the publishing of this video on YouTube, right? Back to the Visual Studio. Now we have uh, set it as set it as default. Let's run this. Okay. Okay, it's running so as soon as I uh, click on a fetch data it's directly shows me the all data from the server because uh, the web service that is written under the data section where the forecast service okay it doesn't take too much time to execute right so and the other thing that is our uh, component fetch data dot reserve this is sending an asynchronous request for the service right so as soon as this uh, forecast object gets filled we are hiding this message that means uh, if this object is now we are showing this message else we are saying hey this is the data and show to the user now what I wanted to do is I wanted to uh or we can say okay uh, so if you implement the what i say if we implement the database server and trying to get data from the server it might might, might get a few milliseconds delay but for now what i'll do i'll make this Okay, I'll make this uh, delay for this event to get complete. Okay, so what what happened by this uh, code? So as soon as uh, the counter comes here, it will ask for the delay to three seconds, and as soon as three seconds, but till um, the forecast will forecast object is null. So uh, the loader message should get there, right? So let's uh, again, let me stop this project and uh, run it again. And let's see how it behaves. Patch data. Yep, it's showing a loader message. But uh, it's kind of good thing, but uh, I wanted to a uh, traditional loader kind of thing. I wanted to show some kind of images out there. So it's very simple. It's uh, uh, if you have uh, sim uh, familiar with your uh, what say uh, C CSS and HTML, uh, that will be very easy to manage this kind of stuff. So here I have a few uh, CSS uh, that is I have created for this project. And uh, if you are aware of the ASP.NET Core project, then you also understand what is this www root folder and uh, the site.css and if you don't know then I'll uh, recommend you to go ahead and uh, watch uh, the full ASP.NET Core uh, video series on uh, youtube.com uh, infologs channel okay so if you have any queries you can post it on the social media as well as on uh, the comment section so I'll just make sure here the loader CSS okay and just put this and then I have a very simple uh, class kind of thing so I'll copy this and I'll put a dot loader
and then paste right now we have a loader kind of thing so it's very simple now go to the your component and here on dev class loader okay so temporary just a loader and now let's see what happened okay I'll quickly go through the CSS so you get uh, an idea about the CSS as well so but before that let's see the output that's nice but we don't need this text anymore so I'll just get rid of this HTML code so if the text so now it's it's look uh, nicer right and as soon as we got this we okay but still uh, the UI is getting fluctuate fluctuated right so as soon as I click on the weather reports the loader is coming and then loader goes away and then this HTML is uh, rendering on the HTML but before that let's go quickly go through the CSS and this is a very simple class okay uh, and this class is assigned to the dev HTML element so we have a few border then radius okay that is 50% because I wanted to show it around and then uh, on the top body width height and this is the web animation and uh, web animation spin uh, two seconds linear uh, infinite and then animation okay and then for key uh, frames uh, we have uh, written over here for the web kit that is uh, CSS and this is the standard standard HTML right so it's very simple okay so but as I uh, told you this is uh, not uh, uh, again a very good thing so it is better than the what we have a default but uh, now I wanted a few things more like uh, there will be some more colorful rounding kind of things so what I'll do I'll create uh, I think I have it okay so just go bottom so I have created one more CSS okay this is again the but there are a few extra uh, properties out there so I'll again create a loader one class and then I'll just put all this HTML kind of thing so extra what is extra so we have a bottom left and then uh, different color for the bottom right and top okay and earlier we have a few uh, limited colors so now let's uh, use this loader one class to uh, blazer this one and again just uh, as we have just HTML changes so I'll go ahead and quickly refresh uh, by pressing ctrl f5 so don't use the f5 okay so I have to stop it okay if there is uh, only changes in the CSS uh, then you don't need to but if there are changes in uh, razor component then you have to do a uh, rebuild so here yeah now the loader is looking very good okay but again I have a, one more requirement that this loader should be in the center of the screen right so this is how the development is going on right so whenever you write any code so as soon as uh, the client sees the output uh, it requests for more details so here I have a few one more CSS that uh, is uh, this will show you the loader in the center of the screen so let me create one more class and then I'll put okay this is now uh, the position so I wanted to make it in center so left and top uh, it's a 50% then the width and height and then the margin from the top okay and then the border radius that is also available in the older screen uh, about the top and this animation as in the all section so again we have a change in uh, razor component so now I'm gonna use the loader 2 class so now let's test it whether this loader is looking good or not or it should satisfy the client now what the hell oops l o d e r i think i missed to spell the class name 
again run this now click on fetch data that's good it's coming in the center of the screen but still uh, I wanted to make sure that the loader one will should be there so this is the weights of 150 150 margin this is the border so what I'll do border top right bottom and left okay so these are the four different so in place of border I'll use this now let's uh, okay this is the only CSS change so I'll go ahead and uh, refresh the page by using control F5 don't hit the F5 otherwise it will come in yeah that's nice it's looking good now right it is coming in the center of the screen so this way you can also put your uh, shadow effect uh, to your uh, dev uh, that will be the 100% uh, shadow effect so in that in that way uh, it will look like uh, something is loading so it should be get blurred uh, everything and only the loader screen will be there and as soon as we got the response from the server so it should display it should get hide and that is automatically done okay so for this kind of thing you can also create your own uh, what say uh, own um, component that's the uh, main word in blazor right so for this you can also create your own component and just uh, uh, ask for the parameters for the components like uh, your, do you want to show it in the center page or do you want to hide it uh, then if the user the passes the show so automatically that uh, component get uh, sorry the loader uh, image should get show that kind of thing you can create or we will build in uh, the upcoming video tutorials right but still uh, that is a very uh, simple thing so currently uh, what is uh, in our bucket list okay uh, before talking about the next thing I would also uh, talk about on the right uh, of the top corner top right corner you will also see the I button and uh, I am um, suggest you to also check out that uh, playlist that is uh, the important one playlist so I, I think you like it that okay and uh, in our next video what we will uh, yeah we will talk about the route integration and uh, templates in asp.net core and that is most 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 important because uh, routing is the important part of any application right so we'll talk about the how right uh, routing it works and uh, all the stuff and uh, at the last uh, screen uh, you'll see the four different sections one for the subscribe uh, one for the subscription of this channel and then uh, uh, one of you will see the uh, list uh, playlist of the blazer uh, video tutorials at the bottom you'll see the previous and next video tutorials for the blazer uh, i hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial thank you for watching and keep learning this is Abhishek Bedri signing out. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.